Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. But just in case you're new here, my name is Mike. And in this video, I'm going to be giving my first thoughts and showing all of the pictures for the brand new announcement we got today. Finally, we got the reveal for the 7-inch Ultimate Jigsaw figure from NECA. They teased this almost two years ago. We've all been waiting very impatiently and we finally got the reveal. We're going to take a look at all the pictures. I'm going to give all my thoughts, but of course, I want to know all of your thoughts. So please put them down in the comment section below. Let's get some conversation going. But without further ado, let's slice right into it. All right, everybody, the time has come. They have finally revealed the ultimate Jigsaw figure, the one we've all been waiting on. Us diehard Saw fans have been waiting for this, and I got a lot of thoughts on it. But I also want to know each and every one of your thoughts, so please, please, please put it down in the comments section below. Let's get some conversation turning. Also, if you're interested in picking up this NECA ultimate figure, it is going to be a little bit different, maybe some previous figures um, that, have been, that have come out. But if you're a more um, experienced collector, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But maybe if you're new to the collecting or maybe you haven't been keeping up with the posts, um, we're going to talk about exactly how to get this figure if you really want it. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the photos that NECA gave us for this figure. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at all these photos together for the first time. Um, of course, I seen them earlier when I was at work, but I skimmed through it uh, pretty quickly. I didn't really um, soak them in because I wanted to do that um, on camera, and uh, we could all do it together so you guys could hear my legitimate first thoughts on things. Um, I don't know if these are in any particular order, so we're just going to go ahead and start with this one right here. We are looking at the pig mask, the robe. He's got his wrist blade out. It looks really, really cool. I love the robe. It's actually a soft robe, so it's more of a cloth figure um, style than like um, all hard plastic, which I think is really, really cool because I like the cloth because you get to kind of position it the way you want. Um, I believe there is wire in the base of the cloak as well as uh, the cuffs and I believe the hood as well. It is. Uh, it does have a wire um, shell or a wire frame if you will so you can pose the cloak or the robe um, however which way you want. Really cool figure. The pig mask looks detailed. It looks awesome. Some of the hair is draped over the face. I love it. You see the reverse bear trap in the background, the tape recorder, the bloody table. They really set the tone with these pictures and I really really love it the next one here we have again the pig mask the hood just somewhat over the head um, it's kind of a weird look um, typically the hood would be a little bit more over the mask than that like even in the film but you get a more dead eye uh, a more front end shot of the um, wrist blade and of course we got Billy now in the background sitting back there on his tricycle just slightly out of focus really cool picture again love the pig mask love the details looks super cool super crisp super clean the next photo we <laughs> oh boy uh, the uh, the um... Oh boy. The next photo we have here is Jigsaw himself with Billy standing next to each other. Billy has his tricycle. He looks really cool, really accurate to the film. Um, very reminiscent of the Toonie Terrors uh, Billy we just got. Um, only um, obviously bigger and more realistic, of course, because he's not in the uh, um, cartoon style. We got the reverse bear trap in the back, but of course, um, this is him. This is John Kramer. This is Jigsaw, the man himself. Um, I love the hands, you know, his black gloves. I still love the cloak. I love how it has the high collar and it kind of goes up to his ears. Um, that's very accurate to the film, but um, I have to say this. I don't know what the hell is going on with that uh, face sculpt there. I, I I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I did some browsing on comments before I recorded this video, and I honestly only saw two people um, have some concerns about the face sculpt. Um, I couldn't believe it wasn't more widespread because I'm looking at this face sculpt and this likeness is nothing like Tobin Bell to me. I mean, if 
I, I don't know. I see it a little bit in his eyes. If you zoom in on his face and you look look him dead in the eyes, I see a little bit of Tobin Bell there, but I don't know. His face looks really droopy. The likeness is just not it's just not there for me. Um like if you were to just cut everything else out of the photo and show me just this head and be like, hey Mike, what is this? I'm not so sure I could tell you that's John Kramer. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of this sculpt. This His likeness looks off to me. His hairline may even be a little bit farther back than it should be. I'm not sure. Like, there's some wrinkles above his um, eyebrows, and then the rest of his forehead is just completely, like, baby face uh, smooth. Very strange to me. And again, his face is very long. Like, this long, droopy, saggy-looking face. Like, and I know Tobin Bell, with, you know, he's an older gentleman. And uh, he was older, you know, obviously, um, when he did the original Saw movie, but not that old. Like, he does not... I don't know. The face sculpt is really throwing me off with this picture. I, um... Ah, it's just, it's throwing me off. I'm not, not a big fan, especially the, the more you zoom in of the face sculpt. I think the likeness is off for sure. The next photo we have here is an actually an alternate head of John Kramer. This is when he has the um, shaved head, bald look, and he has the little one, like, I don't know if it's called like a soul patch or maybe like a, a striped goatee kind of thing going on on his chin. Um, he, we've seen this look in a couple films. Um, it kind of harkens back to um, earlier films and flashbacks and things like that. Um, this face sculpt, again, it, it it's it's a little bit off for me. It doesn't really resemble Tobin Bell to me, although the face is definitely much more withered and much more aged um, all around versus the last one, his Forehead just looks completely baby baby smooth, like it's very odd. This one, his whole forehead is is old and, and shows wrinkles and age and scarring and yeah. I mean, I will say that the, the bald version definitely looks more like John Kramer in my opinion, but it still definitely looks off to me. Um, it's not a ten, it's not a ten out of ten for me, honest to God. Um, the face sculpt. The likeness, um, I can't give this a 10 out of 10. I, I just I just can't. The next uh, photo we have here, of course, is Billy on his tricycle. Looks really cool. Looks screen accurate. Um, not too much to talk about here. It's Billy. It's the tricycle. It's iconic. Um, it's just super cool. I just love it. The next photo here is, now I believe this is a very close version of the photo we got when they first teased that we were getting an ultimate jigsaw figure. It was the tape recorder and I believe the bear trap on that bloody table. I don't think you saw Billy in the background, but it was very reminiscent to this. It's a cool kind of ominous photo and I really I really love it. I mean, it's just really cool. It makes me want like a bloody table for my figure, but I'm sure that wouldn't be too hard to make. The next photo, they actually show us the box. How much blood would you shed to stay alive? And then you got the reverse bear trap, black box, um, everything is accented in red, saw, ultimate jigsaw. Um, I like the box. The box is cool. It's simple. They didn't have to overdo it. Um, I initially thought they were going to do the white box and the uh, saw poster with the severed hand or the severed foot. I thought that would be really cool, kind of brighten, brighten it up a little bit. But I like this too. This is really cool. It's just it's ominous looking. Um, if you don't know what saw is and you saw this, it, it would, well, you'd want to pick it up and be like, what the hell is that? So very cool box. Um, on the back of the box, um, this is actually really cool. They got the they got a saw blade and then like a collage of all three um, alternate heads for the figure with Billy. And again, I'm looking at that top jigsaw and it's just fucking me, man. It's just, I don't know, man. It's just not jiving with me. Please, please let me know in the comment section what you all think about the uh, the face sculpt on this on this ultimate figure because I'm a little bit let down, I'll be honest. For as long as we waited, I, I was hoping um, the likeness would be a little bit more accurate. Uh, we go to the next photo here and you get to see him in package. And the inside cover art there, the promotional shot, I love it. I think it's freaking awesome. Like he looks so he looks so cool in the box. I love all the accessories he comes with. The box looks cool. The blacks, the reds. I just love seeing it. It makes me feel like I can I can see it in my hands. You know what I mean? So I love when they show pictures like this. 
And the last photo we have is, of course, the figure and all of his accessories and all of their glory. Um, I will say that I think they did a great job with the accessories. Um, I was thinking the whole way I was driving home from work, what else could they have given John Kramer or Jigsaw? What else could they have given him for accessories that aren't in here? And honestly, I think they nailed it. I mean, the tape recorder, he's got the wrist blade, the pig mask, the... Um, Reverse bear trap. He's got Billy with the trike. I mean, what else could you really um, ask for? If you guys think of an accessory that would be cool for this figure, please put it down in the comments below and let's get some conversation going. But um, I really like this. I think the fact that you have a tape recorder and you have Billy and you have um, an in scale reverse bear trap, um, I think you could get like another action figure and you can actually set up like a little uh, a little scene on your shelf or in your detoff or whatever wherever it is you might display this and actually have um, someone being tested, right? Have a subject being tested by John. So I think that's actually a really cool idea. Maybe get like a little TV on like a little stand, you know what I mean? And have him watching the TV and that's where they get the instructions from. And that would be really cool. Um, I love seeing everything laid out. He's got three alternate hands here, it looks like. Um, three alternate heads. Um, I really like this figure. Um, again, um, I'm really off put by the head sculpt and the likeness, in particular on that one head with the hair. Um, and you might be asking yourself, wow, like he really hates that head sculpt, man. Like, what are you going to do? I mean, are you not going to get it? It's like, man, who do you think I am? Of course I'm going to get this figure. But um, um, it might be a little bit challenging for me to find this figure, and we'll talk about that here in the next segment of the video. But of course I'm going to get this. I'm a diehard Saw fan. It's top three franchises of all time for me. Um, overall, I love the figure. I, I can't give it a 10 out of 10, but um, I do give it a high enough score that it, it, it definitely deserves a place um, on my shelf. And I may even get this and put the pig mask on it, and this might be my Amanda Young uh, once again. So we'll have to see how that goes. But um, for those wondering, um, I may have been a little bit um, misspoken in my video about the Toonie Terrors jigsaw. John Kramer did indeed wear this red cloak um, in this sh shot right here. He is seen wearing it. Now, this doesn't look like a shot in the film, so maybe it was used for a promotional shot or something that you know ended up on the cutting room floor. I'm not sure where this shot is specifically from, but um, it is highly speculated that John was wearing the red cloak when he kidnapped Lawrence Gordon in the first film. So I may have misspoke slightly on my Toonie Terrors video, but that is a look at all the photos for the Ultimate Jigsaw figure. All right, everybody, so that was my first thoughts upon looking at all the photos that NECA had given us. And, um, you know, there's a lot of good. Um, there's a little bit of bad here. Um, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. But um, I will say this, that if you are interested in picking up this figure, not only am I going to put a link down in the description box below where you can go ahead and go there and pick this figure up, um, I believe it will sell out. It can sell out. So if you want it, go ahead and grab it right away. I think it's only $34.99, which is not a bad price at all, um, in my opinion. But So this figure is actually an international um um, figure right now. So if you're international, if you're out there and you want this figure, all you have to do is go to the link down below, NECA.com, Holothon.com. You can go ahead and just order the figure like you would. It'll be shipped to your house. Um, if you're like me and you're in the U.S., um, unfortunately, we're going to have to do the fun but also tedious and expensive grinding. It is available in select targets in the U.S. It is part of Holothon drop number Two. So if you want this figure and you're in the U.S. and you don't want to pay the scalper prices and the outrageous prices people are going to be asking for on eBay, then go ahead and start hitting up your targets, start grinding, hit up your friends, hit up your family, get all your buddies together. Let's help each other out. If I'm out and about and I see you know two or three of them and someone in the comment section, if y'all let me know that you need one and I see an extra, I'll grab it for you and let's just help each other out, right? Like, let's help each other out. If you see it, grab it. I see it, grab it. You know, and not just me and and whoever's watching this, but other fellow collectors let's help each other out let's um all get our hands on this if this is something that we all want um um in my kind of closing thoughts here um i will say that i'm almost positive 
that we are going to get a black robe variant of this figure, just like we did for the Toonie Terrors. We had the original, the black cloak two-pack um, box set, and then we got, later on, we got the red robe variant Toonie Terrors. I'm almost positive that the black cloak is coming, and I think that one is going to be more widespread. I think it's going to be more consumer-friendly in terms of um, it's going to be available everywhere, you know, U.S., international, everybody can get it, okay? Um, that's just my opinion. I don't know, but that's what I'm pretty sure is going to happen. We will get a black robe ultimate jigsaw, and then we'll also have the red robe just like our Toonie Terrors. So you can have um, a John Kramer and an Amanda just like I did with my Toonie Terrors um, over here to my right. I have a red one and a black one. I got my John Kramer, and I got my Amanda Young, and I put the pig mask on her, and uh, that's just the way that I choose to roll with that. But um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my first thoughts on this jigsaw ultimate figure that we've been waiting almost two years since that reveal. But of course, I want to know all of your thoughts, so put them down in the comment section below. You can also follow me on Instagram right there for a more personal look at my life of horror. But I want to remind you all one last time that my name is Mike, and this is my design.